Thoreau's words ring. If for a moment we make way with our petty selves and wish no ill to anyone, apprehend no ill, cease to be but the crystal which reflects a ray, what shall we not reflect? What a universe will appear radiant around us. This is spiritual ecology. Thoreau did not use drugs to reach this fourth dimensional transcendence. He found it in the inner resources of his being. The quiet center in each of us is the most beautiful and holy place. Only we must release all small personal thoughts and contact the supreme intelligence, that force and creative energy that most men call God. Here lie the answers to every problem, personal and worldwide. And here alone do we find the peace, the love, the joy that are to be expressed outwardly in radiant living. All have this potential. There is a divine spark in man, and its development may well be the next step in our evolution. In meditation and contemplation of the highest that we know, followed by a period of humble inner listening to the invisible power greater than we are, more and more of life's mysteries will be revealed. Meditation is in truth higher than thought. The earth seems to rest in silent meditation, and the waters and the mountains and the heavens all seem to be in meditation. Oriental scripture says, whenever a man attains greatness on this earth, he has his reward according to his meditation. Shouldn't we rather open our hearts than blow our minds? This is the in thing today and will be for eons to come. This is where the action is, right where you are. Only realize that a happening is taking place within you now. Wow. 